Oh man, I just wet myself. Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. And just before I hit record, I knocked over my water glass down in my lap, and man, am I feeling it. Anyway, Catherine's gotta gotta go to the bathroom there. Um, where have I been since last episode? It's been several days since I've recorded anything. I've been doing a lot of renovating at home. I'm going to be doing that for the next couple of weeks through the month of June. Then uh, into July, I'll try to get back into into doing YouTube again. I may be able to pop an episode in here and there. I have spent a few hours doing some work on this one. That's why it's paused right now, because I'm afraid they're going to die if I turn it on. I did get this kind of going down here. And what I am learning about this is that 11 dupes will not do it. It takes about 10 dupes to run all of the maintenance in the colony. The one I took two of them off to do nothing but dig and build, then they, uh, everything just, so much of it didn't get done. You know, we started running out of oxygen because that one more knot in the, uh, the queue was enough for this one to never get algae or these to never get water or, or what have you. We got lots of algae. Where'd we get all that algae? Dug through all this. There was all kinds of algae in here. So what I had done was I took a day and turned everybody off of power and off of well, basically everything but build and dig. And for one day, they came down here and just plowed through a lot of this. And then I took three or four days trying to keep them alive because they all shot up to 50 and 60%. In fact, several times they got to 65% and just on the verge of exploding and finally got enough power to run a massage table and got them on it again. And then I'd spend two or three days doing nothing but massage and, and just the basic deliveries. And as they would go over 60, that one would only do massage and someone else would only do power to keep that. It's been such a balancing act that it's it's not worth my time to keep going in this series. This is basically what I'm getting at. The goal of this series was to show you um, uh, that you know, basically the natural gas. I wanted to get a natural gas generation going, which would have taken care of the five that I've got running these four wheels, and now the one running this wheel. I am I've got everything set for sevens and eights, with few actual daily jobs on nine. The coal generator is one of them, and I've yet to get anyone to deliver coal to this guy. So, one of my biggest frustrations with the game yet is that I can't say Murphy. Can you bring coal to this? If we could do that, it would solve so many things. Now, the only way to do that is to start eliminating as many other jobs as possible so that one of them might be inclined to do a delivery job all the way down here after, of course, they do every delivery job prior to it to finally work their way up, get to here, and then realize, oh, i got to go back and do these delivery jobs again because it's running out. And so I cannot get them to come down here. So if I had 15, then I would probably be more successful. But I haven't been able to get these guys to run it excellent for a long, long time. And I don't know why. Well, irrigation is at 80% now, but for the most part, it's been sitting at 100% on everything and right in the middle of the temperature range, and yet it will not go back to excellent anymore. No indication as to what I'm missing. Good yield. Does it tell me why? Fertilized, irrigated... Standard pressure, zero cycles. What does that mean? Standard temperature, zero cycles. I'm not sure what it means by standard. It gives a range and is within that range. Hmm. Anyway, so what I'm doing right now, I've got to constantly pause and evaluate. I want to make sure that Handy and Kathra and Tomislav are on the tables. There's Tomislav is. So Mountain Doofer, he is down there at 47%. Um, who was this? That is Ebony. Ebony is down at 43%. They all need to be on the table, so I'll leave them alone. But when I finally got water running, it took quite a while. I have to get someone, I have to force someone down here to run this thing. When they do, the water runs up and dumps down and eventually makes it to this pump and pumps in. 
So what I think I'm going to do is just delete pipes in here, run a direct line right in, uh, actually to here, and pump half the water directly into this, skipping this pump, or skipping half the power, you know, the power used for that one. I'll let this one do it all. Except that, well, maybe one of these guys are hitting down here to run the wheel. No, they're hitting down here for... What are they doing? They're grabbing... Oh, I didn't see it. Two things just went up there. So that looks like algae, and that looks like algae. Yeah, so they're running down to grab algae. But this has taken, I think, about six hours since last episode just to get this built and then get these guys balanced well enough to where they'll survive again. And in the process, we've lost almost all of our oxygen. Just getting a little too frustrated. So I'm going to be shutting this series down. When Oxygen Not Included comes up with the feature to assign jobs, you know, Cathra, right-click, fertilize this plant, like RimWorld does. Then we've got something that can shortcut all of these long processes to convince somebody to come over and do a certain job. I've got very few things set for nine right now. The, only the ones that I want done, and yet they're still not doing them. They're bypassing a lot of the of the other things. You know, they're, they're continuing to do the sevens and eights because they're sweep, or because they're deliver, when that's not the highest priority. So also another frustration is that, like RimWorld, you know, RimWorld will give you the choice of one, two, three, four, as well as check marks. You get two different ways to do this, so that I can put a one out over here, and you know, instead of having to work through this entire list to finally get to deliver and then do it, or finally get to dig and then do it, I can stick a one over there, and they'll bypass the entire list, so that Murphy can be doing everything, except when there's dig jobs, he'll go straight to the dig jobs, then he'll go back to doing everything again. Now, the RimWorld has done a very good job with prioritizing the uh, the pawns to be able to do what, uh, what they need to do. And that's one thing that this game is sorely lacking. So you're really dependent upon uh, the game kind of randomly choosing what it thinks you want them to do. And it's been pretty frustrating getting them to finally do something. And uh, I want to say day 160 is when... That one came in, so three days of them not doing that. The only way I could really get it to do it is to go through and, and turn everything off except for deliver. But even then, that you know, and then set this for a nine, and everything else for a one. So I've got to basically tear the whole game up, and then do that, and then go back and undo it all. I've just I've not been able to get them to do it naturally. So getting a little frustrating, and. Yeah, it's just not working out for the time that I've got available right now. You know, summer into about July, that my business is still really busy. And right now is when I need to get several renovation jobs done at home. So trying to fight this game just to get a 30 to 40 minute episode is not going to work. So I don't know that I'm going to kill this series. I'm going to stop recording it for a while. Maybe an update will show up soon that won't break the save game at which time I'll jump back in and fix a few things and get this going again and we'll continue but I'm thinking this series is probably going to be done for a month or two and then maybe I'll come back to it um, when I do get back to full time recording I do want to dive back into RimWorld get into Alpha 17 and as I've said before I now take uh, uh, patrons first as far as, as named colonists for for games and that one you know there's all kinds of slots available for for uh, for name colonists and i'm thinking about a multi-colony game or series with that one so, um i guess you've got to build your first colony then branch out to a second one you can't just start with two but we'll see if i can come up with a backstory that kind of works for that as to why we would do that and then break off uh colonists based on their skill to go and set up another colony nearby and kind of explore the all the new um, aspects that they built into the game for trading within colonies and within uh, you know, t taking on all the different quests on the map and and uh, stuff like that. I think that game would be quite fun and it's something that I can record every minute of and just you know where I stop one episode is where I begin the next one which is what I assumed I'd be doing here until I found out that it took them 
three days to three cycles just to sweep the bedrooms. <laughs> I realized this isn't going to work. But um, so that's what's going on. I'm going to be in and out of YouTube for the next two to three weeks, and I'll try to get up and going again. Um, I do want to get into a couple of the older series that I didn't get a chance to finish and try to put an ending on. I mean, we'll get uh, Banished uh, Noble Landing going and go through and kind of just put a, a conclusion on that series and, and then shut it down properly. I do want to get back into Dungeon Siege soon. That was the very first series that I did. I got to the halfway point of the game and stopped so that I could do Ramblington and Banished. And I never got a chance to get back into that, and I would love to. So that one, I need to create, create a brand new intro for the new RimWorld series. That always takes as long as the first five episodes to record. Trying to come up with a new idea, a new you know, sound, new music, new what. I, in fact, if you have any ideas for a cool intro video, like a 10 to 12 second little intro into the series, you know, shoot me some ideas. Something that's animated. I, I like the sound of the existing one. Go pop into an old RimWorld Alpha 13 video for the first you know, 10 seconds and see what I'm talking about. It would be nice to do something a little bit different for the next series. But uh, don't know what. I'm kind of having a, a, uh, a blank on that one. But what else is going on here? Do check out the Ancient Cities uh, Kickstarter. That's going on right now. Uh, here we're, well, either my Twitter and uh, click on that. Uh, click on it from there. I've, I've uh, retweeted many times. Or, or just go to Kickstarter and look up Ancient Cities. That's a game that I would love to get into in the next year or so uh, when, they, when they release. I don't know if I'll be able to get in on the closed alpha or closed beta or just how it's going to work. But it um, be nice to jump into that game. Um, I'll let you read about it rather than me go into it here, what it's all about. But it's definitely worth checking it out. Um, I think that's about it right now. Just that I'm going to be a little bit slow on getting videos out for a few weeks. So with that, leave me some comments, your thoughts, and I will catch you later. Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.